Okay, so for course outcome 3, we will start with goodness of fit test. The test is based on how good a fit we have between the frequency of occurrence no, of observations in an observed sample and the expected frequencies obtained from the hypothesized distribution. A good fit test between observed and expected frequencies is based on this uh, quantity. This is the computed chi-squared value which is based on the observed frequency or observed value and the expected value. If the observed frequencies are close to the corresponding expected frequencies, the chi-squared value will be small which indicates a good fit so our null hypothesis is that we have a good fit data and then the null hypothesis will be a poor fit data so for a level of significance equal to alpha or, or at alpha we will find the uh, uh, critical value chi squared sub alpha that is from the chi squared table and then this will constitute to the critical critical region so meaning we will reject the null hypothesis if the computed chi squared value is greater than the chi squared value at alpha Okay, so let's have an extra solution to our first example. Consider the tossing of a die. We hypothesize that the die is honest, which is equivalent to testing the hypothesis that the distribution of outcomes is the discrete uniform distribution. So if the fair, if the die is fair, then we will expect that each number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will have a probability of 1 over 6. So if the die will be tossed 120 times and then the expected value for each number will be 20 each. No, so we have here the expected value 20 for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we have the observed values for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, for example, for 1 out of 120 times, uh, the number 1 occurs 20 times or 120 trials. And for number 2, it occurred 22 times. For number 3, 17, 4, 18, 5, 19, and 6, 24. Okay. So, so, given the observed and expected frequencies, okay, we will compute for this quantity that is coming from the chi-squared formula. Okay. So the difference between the observed and the expected frequencies, so raised to the power 2 divided by the expected frequency. No? And then we move the cursor to the right to copy the formula. Okay. And then we take the sum, sum of these quant values. Okay, so the computed chi squared is 1.7. Uh, we'll be using 0 0.05 for alpha. Now, your n here is 6, the number of outcomes. So, n minus 1 is 5. Okay, so what is the value of chi squared at 0 0.05? And then with alpha, uh, v, 5. So this is your alpha 0 0.05 
and then the number of degrees of freedom is 5 so we will have 11.07 okay for your chi squared at 0 0.05 okay so our another hypothesis is that we have a good fit okay so what will be our diffusion rule your We will reject the null hypothesis no? if chi squared is greater than chi squared at alpha. at 0 0.05 okay so what will be our conclusion so take note that this the computed value is 1.07 no? which is much much less than so this is much much less than 11.07 the uh, chi squared at alpha therefore our conclusion is do not reject do not reject the null hypothesis which means we have a good fit which means the die is balanced or fair.